Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. This is the beginning of a brand new series on my personal channel for a game by the name of The Cave. It is published by Sega and created by Double Fine Studios. Both of those names bring back joy from my childhood, so I'm pretty happy to be here today playing this for you guys, with you guys. We're, we're in this together. I'm gonna go ahead and press start and start a new game. The reason I'm starting a new game is because uh, right when the game starts, actually, like right when you press start for the first time, it just jumps right in. There's, there's none of these menus the first time in. So yes, new game, please. Welcome. Hello. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay thousands, nay, nay, nay tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. <laughs> Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. Alright, so we get to learn a little bit about our characters here. They're going to tell us about each one of them. Hmm. The knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire burn too brightly in his heart? Ah, the time traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Fortunately for her, yesterday is a new day. The scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind, and a hundred million lives hang in the balance. Oh, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure, but not necessarily in that order. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? God, they are really, really creepy looking. Ah, the monk. He seeks his master so he can become the master. It's a journey filled with peace and enlightenment. And murder. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so we have to pick three of these characters in order to move on forward. Uh, so I'm going to pick the ones that appeal to me the most here. In no particular order. I think I'm going to go with the, hill, the hillbilly. All right, let's move him over here. Very good. Um... The time traveler, the scientist, the adventurer, the twins. Oh my god, the twins, they're so weird. Oh my god, we have to go with the twins. And then for the last one, I'm I'm between the knight and the time traveler. Oh, let's let's go with, let's go with the the Oh, it's such a hard decision. Such a hard decision. She flies. That's pretty cool. But he's a fucking... We're gonna go with the knight. We're gonna go with the knight. Knight, you stand over here. Hillbilly. Will you cli kindly get this crowbar? Oh, yeah. Hillbilly in charge of the crowbar. Look at him walk with that swag. Oh. Look at him go. Alright, the twins are seriously creeping me out. I don't think I can do anything with the twins. So it's gonna be the knight. The hillbilly. And the time traveler. Oh, look at that. That's just sexy. All right. So I'm going to have to name each one of these. I hope you guys understand that. I'm going to have to name them. They're going to have to be special in my life in order for me to get any type of emotional attachment here. So my hillbilly is going to be named Jimmy. 
Oh yeah, Jimmy, you have some really loud slappy feet. Into the cave we go. Oh, you fell you fell into a little grave there, Jimmy. Don't worry about it. Danger! Keep out! Seriously. Good thing Jimmy doesn't know how to read. Do you, Jimmy? I guess we have to bring our other adventurers inside for them to count as adventurers. So this will be... Let's see, a time traveler. I've been watching nothing but Doctor Who. You're gonna be Amelia! And this is... This is... I'll have to think about it. I need a good night name. It'll be the first name I think of. This is Leonardo! That's not a good night name at all, but that's his name. He doesn't fit in, that's why he's in the cave. Alright, what are we going on here? Um, that's a ledge we can't jump to, obviously. There's another path here. I wonder what we have to do! Yes, Jimmy, use your muscles! Use your weapons called arms and move this thing over. Good job, Jimmy. Up and over. What do, 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 do. You break it, you buy it. Just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Okay, Amelia. We need to get you on that bridge, even though you're flying, technically. You're hovering. There still has to be some downward force there, though, I would imagine. All right. Whoa! Careful. If that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up. And by if, I mean when that bridge breaks. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right, Leonardo. You're the last one up. That's a terrible name. His parents didn't know how to name him very well. And boom! All right, everyone, out of the water. I don't think you want Leonardo being your lifeguard. Is there anything over here? Employees only. Will the crowbar work on this? Jimmy, go try the crowbar. No. All right, well, let's go investigate. The cave, souvenirs. Are you, are you crying? Do you, do you want a postcard, mister? Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave because we, we, we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred and there's no way we can open, no way. <laughs> I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. Oh no. <laughs> how how could you have a gift shop with no trinkets? Oh, the humanity. I, I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I going to do now? I don't know. Amelia, console him, you heartless bitch. <laughs> I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. <laughs> the cave is doomed without gifts. How am I going to make my fiscal quarter projections now, huh? This is the end of the cave. The end, I tell you. There's nothing to experience here except bitter disappointment. Okay, <laughs> well. Why would anyone visit a dark, damp hole? You no. Know, there is a way I could reopen. Allow you don't say adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer I just need three small trinkets to sell just three. Let me say that number again three Take this giant <laughs> novelty size key it's cute, isn't it? Open the employees back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the caves gift shop Amelia, on the key now. Haste makes waste is a stupid saying. Still, get cracking. All right. So we're going into the employees only lounge. Nice. 
He is a funny little man, isn't he? Yes. I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till. Really? You should probably fire him then. Come on, Amelia, don't be shy. You have hover boots. There you go, girl. There you go. Oh, hey, guys. Welcome to the party. Go on down this ladder. Oh, what's that? What's that? Okay. Let's get everyone on down the ladder. Come on, Leonardo. And Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. You and your crowbar. You're going to save the day, Jimmy. All right. Let's have a look around. There's a bucket in the well. Now. There is an empty fuse box. A lever. A hot dog machine. A new grog machine. And I don't see anything else. So what happens if we pull the lever? Well, something's moving. Amelia, go investigate. Was it this? It is this. Fantastic. All right, Leonardo. No, don't climb. Now's not a time to leave, Leonardo. You are going to be our brave adventurer across the gate. All right, good sir. Oh, yes. Walk with that night swag. So what happens if I pull this one? Oh, you guys can come over now. Come on, Jimmy. All right. Let us investigate with Sir Knight Leonardo. Uh, we have a bell. Oh, shit! Le run, Leonardo! Terrifying. Keep investigating. No, you can't call for help. You're a brave knight. What is this? Behold, the future. What is it? The year 2701. Or 2701. Neat. The time traveler. Oh, you see, so you can unlock pictures for each person. I see. Fuse box. Uh, uh There's no dying in the cave. At least not this soon. So much left for them to learn. Okay. What's this do? So that drops a claw, presumably down to the bottom. All right, Leonardo, you will man the lever, the lever and such. Who am I? Who do I have? Jimmy. Let's move on up. Um. Actually, Jimmy, you man, you man the lever. Jimmy, come on, come on. You used to run around in the wilderness in your in your days as a boy. I'm sure you can manage to jump a little bit. Because I don't want Jimmy to lose his crowbar. I feel like Jimmy needs his crowbar for all eternity. Alright, let's go ahead and try this out. The old well, huh? Why is that relevant to me? And can I take this thing? I feel like I need this in my life a little bit. Um. Oh, this fuse has water dripping on it. So. 
Amelia, wasn't there a bucket? There's a bucket. All right. Broken old well. Well, take this thing. Take it off. Oh, we probably need the crowbar. Jimmy, go help him. Good job, Jimmy. Oh my God, you're a hero. You're a hero, Jimmy. All right, let's go ahead and bring this back to Amelia. Here you are, ma'am. All right, give it a go. And we have... A, do we have a bucket? Thought we had a bucket. The peasant boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, here's the bucket. Alright, Leonardo. Keeper of the bucket. Don't climb the ladder with buckets. That's not safe, Leonardo. I'm thinking I can put this on top of... On top of the... Um... Fuse thing here. Oh, that worked! Good. Oh, do I have a fuse? Aren't you happy, Jimmy? I'm happy too. Let's go. So, what do we do with this? I guess we put it so we can use the vending machines. We put it down here. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we can't really use that. And then the hot dog machine. Oh, you have a wiener! <laughs> Look at Arno, you have a wiener! Oh, that's funny. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I use this now? No. Amelia! Please grab the fuse. All right. God, Amelia is so graceful. Look at her go. All right, so let's put this back in. That means Jimmy can pull this lever again. And I'm guessing that we use the hot dog for bait. Uh, pit of spikes. Oh, nail Jimmy! Nail Jimmy! All right. The brave knight Leonardo advances. Let's hope that holds, huh? Little teddy bear. Growing up, hillbilly. Oh, he had a little teddy bear fisherman with him. Yes, he did. All right, hello, guys. We have reached a new area. In which I don't know how to do anything, so brave Sir Knight Leonardo will dive into the depths. There's no dying in the cave. He drowned. All right. Flame. 
I don't know either, Leonardo. It looks like we're gonna need an explosion of some kind to get by this, perhaps? What do you think, Leonardo? We have, like, beware of explosion signs everywhere. At least that's how I'm interpreting that. Box of dynamite. Oh, Leonardo, you be careful. Brave Sir Knight Leonardo. Ah! Ah! Oh, yes. Clear in the path. Oh, yes. Don't mind me. I'm just brave Sir Knight Leonardo. What happens if I blow up the, uh, the dynamite with dynamite? I'm kind of interested now. I'd have to be fast. He'll probably die. Go, brave Sir Knight! No! Down! Oh! Drop it! Drop it! Run! Oh, did I mention he has an immunity bubble? <laughs> because he has an immunity bubble. He has angel wings. It's really quite marvelous to, to look at. The hillbilly smokes. I, I think he can breathe underwater indefinitely. I think that's what it is. And then the time traveler can flash. I don't know how often we're going to be using those abilities. All right, brave Sir Knight, press on. Hello, is that golden treasure? I think it is. Jeweled skull. Nice. Look at him walking around with his new favorite thing in the whole world. Oh yeah, Leonardo. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna need something to weigh that down, presumably. I guess we could have one of our companions do it. What's going on down here, exactly? Well, I guess I need one of them to come get the skull, then. Alright, so we have a skull, we have an award. Let's get back up to the surface. Good job, Amelia. You swim very gracefully, girl. That's a compliment. Okay, let's get Leonardo up top. And Crowbar Jimmy. <laughs> All right, Crowbar Jimmy, you're going to be brave. You are going. Oh, does that keep it open? All right, we all made it through. Crowbar Jimmy, you probably have the uh, most defensive prowess here. All right, we called an elevator down. That's not ominous in any way. Let's see what's up here. Oh, a guitar. Oh, Jimmy, that's for you. Oh, Jimmy, it's cursed. You might want to put that back. Jimmy don't give no shits, he has a guitar now. All right, everyone. All right, everyone, on the elevator. Come on, Leonardo. Your turn, Amelia. Press the button. Oh, we're back here. Oh, I see. Well then, Amelia, you might as well lead the charge. Lead our brave, adv brave adventurers back up to the top. Look at her climbing with one hand. Oh, man. She's an inspiration to everyone.
I'm assuming everyone else will follow. Well, that's one trinket. A far cry from three trinkets. I played that game. I played that Far Cry 3 trinket. Ah, trinket numero two. Maybe I... Ah, the third glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Nope. So what's that mean? Oh, right. Sorry. Thank you. Come on, Jimmy. The cave tour. I guess I'll probably save this for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun with this. It was, it was good. <laughs> well, that was a close one. It does bode well for our intrepid spelunkers that they navigated that maze of intrigue. I have high hopes for this group. Much better than the last. I think they may <laughs> still be down here. I should probably get them out. You Nothing probably should. scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. Oh, if that isn't encouraging moving forward, I don't know what is. But okay, everyone, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I certainly did. It was pretty fun. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment on down below as well. And if you're new here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? I do this kind of thing all the time. This is nothing new here. We're always having fun on the motherfucking Pally Time channel. But I will be back tomorrow with more of our hero's adventure into the talking cave of wonders. And I hope to see you all then.